hey guys in this video we are going to see a ultimate CICD pipeline using github action and argo cd so let's get started uh, this is my simple uh, application uh, simple node application uh, i have built and this is the github action CICD script so let me show you the application first uh, how it is look like just start the from server and uh, as you can see this is our applications look like uh, this is small uh, application that i build okay let's move that and let's go to this and we'll stop this okay right now so this is our application uh, cicd script uh, on uh, uh, let me explain you how it is working the architecture uh, so we are, here we go here and this is the uh, uh, architecture uh, this is deployment strategy the developer will push the code to github repository then uh, it will build and test and build a docker file and push to docker hub and update a docker tags in playbooks okay and detect and uh, the ansible will do a cd part detect the changes apply ansible playbook sync status and in the infrastructure is aws in situ instance so this is our main goal and let me explain the code first the ci cd code the how it is working uh, this is uh, i use ubuntu runner in github action and uh, uh, this is the uh, docker i use environment variable and uh, docker action i secret i set up a secret uh, action uh, variable in uh, my secrets i will show you how it is uh, how it was uh, set up and uh, next is to log into docker hub okay uh, i use docker hub credentials and uh, and uh, it will push the image to docker hub install ansible then install install ansible it was installed and it will set up ssh key and uh, will be set up a we have given a ssh private key and the ubuntu host means the pri uh, public ip of that uh, uh, instance okay it will be uh, do the sss connection between public ip to the uh, host uh, what host we are giving to run application and we'll run the playbooks okay in the playbooks i will be having an inventory inventory we have to update this public key and the playbook is simple it will detect uh, it will uh, Okay, why it is flash application? Okay, we'll remove that, and it will detect of changes, and uh, uh, it will be running the uh, uh, it will run the container container to three thousand to uh, eighty port because our uh, we will be uh, because the React is running on three thousand, so we publish the port to eighty. Okay, no worries. So let's go. This is a simple application. Let's uh, make an application EC2 instance first. Go to EC2, uh, go to AWS console and uh, type anything here like my application okay, Ubuntu. Select Ubuntu and the the minimum one. Select T2 Micro and select the this one because I have registered this GitHub action in my uh, here. In settings and uh, very secret and variables actions I set up all the variables here so this is private key Ubuntu host name I will update this uh, after I get the public IP so let's get started so I will give uh, uh, HTTP and SSH connection okay and try re learns this instance The instance is got launched successfully and let's go to the id that instance as you see that application is currently running and we go to the public ip also here so we have to update this to two thing like first of all i have to update this in inventory okay I'll go down in invent update this and set up as okay 
I have updated this to inventory also. Now I will update this to what actions also get of action. I will put this IP to this update secret. Okay, everything is done readily and uh, go to the startup uh, this workflow and this currently workflow is uh, not running so we have to update the changes right okay we need to update the changes let's do go for this and update the changes so now we have updated this right so we'll update these changes to our repository so then it will be run our application will get run git add dot okay git commit hyphen m i can updated okay updated okay git post origin main because i set up this uh, git repository to, to my uh, this uh, repository so our update get post so we'll go to here and we'll refresh this now uh, i think our uh, um, so git of action server will be run yeah it is currently building now go to details and see the all the changes get run so now uh, our setup is started action is got uh, and login to docker is successfully logged and uh, now it is currently building the docker file and it will push to docker hub so let me show you how it also it push the docker hub okay we have to wait for till now okay it is currently uh, done the pushing thing okay so let's yes and refresh this yeah a few second ago the latest image got pushed okay and uh, let's now the ansible to run now ansible will run now ansible got installed then it will be run the playbooks okay so in this we have to only set the ec2 instance and all stuff get automated using ansible and argos uh, get of action cicd okay and it will set up the ssh okay ssh get set up easily and now it will be run the application so i have uh, uh, named the flash application as because i testing something so i will update this to node application no worries okay now the task is got updated okay installing the required pa packages what we have uh, defined in this ansible playbook for this step is uh, little more crucial after that the three steps is got uh, easily uh, run okay let's wait for some time i hope you understand the workflow uh, like how it's working and you can do this too also and uh, okay it's get uh, added the docker gp key and it added the docker repository changes made successfully installing the docker installing the docker into the our host server remember this this all the stuff is occurring in the our host server we have already automated the thing okay we have already automated the thing it will be we we will not use our ssh key to log in into our what we can say docker is uh, to instance it will be do all the stuff it's also pulling the docker image the latest image will be pulled okay yeah uh, and uh, if the existing server will be running you will stop that and all the stuff is get uh, run successfully uh, let's let's check the copy this public ip and run it in the main server because we are 
binding the port to 3280 so will be uh, easily run in the HTTP so let's wait for something because it get uh, uh, okay let's see uh, let yes we have successfully deployed our application using Argo CD and, uh, uh, and Ansible okay here we have the all the stuff if you not believing in this I will update the code uh, I will update the navbar let's go to the this and I will go to navbar.js and I will update this to Argo CD hello okay uh, sorry uh, cloud of insider hello I write simple okay hello the main thing I will write hello world okay I'll save this this is get saved and I will update the latest one okay git add git uh, commit git push then after this does uh, it will run once again the CI CD pipeline then it will update this to Argo uh, sorry cloud of insider hello world okay let's see how it's got okay let's go to the main page and this see we have the uh, pipeline triggered when we push anything the pipeline got triggered then once again it will be uh, uh, do the step what step we have done once again it will do the same step and as per your requirement you can do whatever thing you want to do like you can uh, use for high traffic like you can attach load balancer in the high traffic demand it will be uh, will be clone the your images clone your container for managing high traffic load One second, all the stuff get uh, uh, what we can say. One second, all the stuff get uh, installed. And remember, this this all the stuff get uh, run from the GitHub runner to the our Ansible host. This is our Ansible host, uh, our my my application host. Here, our application get run. Okay, so simply this is the public IP and we are running inside this, so it will run obviously inside this. Once again, it will set up SSH key. Now it, it get faster because it's not setting for the first time, it's setting for the second time, right? But this Ansible run uh, playbook will take some time and it is also uh, faster because it will only ensure whether the application code installed or packages are there or not okay now it got stuck because it will also delete the old container then set up the new one the latest tech the, the latest image okay it's done right stop existing container if running then it will be run the new container okay the new container has got run now let's check whether a cloud of insider hello world is coming or not i run again this Or the latest subreddit got pushed right so it will take some time to refresh okay here we have hello world we upgrade that right so we have done the successfully so i hope you have learned something from here if you want to uh, do this same just uh, uh, do right that we have i have told you okay like how it is started so first is development development approves the uh, it will be what are the code post to repository it will build it and test and you can uh, for security reasons you can use sonar cube and any kind of like trivi you can use trivi to scan the image any kind of vulnerabilities like ces common vulnerability exposure what we have in the critical image so we can uh, verify that also using trivi and uh, you can 
after that uh, you can attach a search manager here to learn in to run in our https and you can attach your custom domain and uh, here your application get deployed this is so simple right so i hope you learn from this uh, tutorial so i hope you can execute this if not comment down in my video i will help you thank you for watching